Hey there guys, welcome to Arsenal Fan TV. So, full-time Manchester United 3, Arsenal 2. And I can assure you the very last thing that I want to be doing at the moment is reliving that game and talking about it. Again, absolutely embarrassing. Nothing short of humiliating what's happened this afternoon. It's put our title race in absolute jeopardy. I don't know where I, where I stand as an Arsenal fan anymore, to be honest, because one week we're playing really good football, the next we're getting turned over by what is one of the poorest Manchester United sides I have seen. Yes, you can argue that they did play very well today. They did, they were certainly deserved of the victory. Let's just get that out of the way first and foremost. United deserved the victory today. They were head and, head and shoulders the better team than us today, and that is just embarrassing to think that we didn't even really turn up to this game despite getting two goals. Two goals came when we were losing the game, and the game was kind of beyond us in a way. So those goals kind of ineffective in a sense and the fact we couldn't get more goals we couldn't beat a side that has got Michael Carrick and Daly Blinn playing at centre half two central midfielders playing at centre half and we couldn't score more than two goals against them and we couldn't even win the game it's just pathetic it's embarrassing and it's classic Arsenal which is the saddest part about this it's um yeah, apart from saying it's humiliating and embarrassing, I don't really know what other words I can I can say that bring any justification to that performance because, like I say, I don't know where I stand. When was the last time we actually put in a good performance where we won a game 2 or 3-0, we played some really quality football, we won the game convincingly, possibly Bournemouth away, but that came in at a time when we were still playing dodgy football, we were expected to win that game. In truth, the last time that we went on a run of results when we played really good football, we looked like the best part of our season. I think that was probably back in October when we were beating Watford 3-0, but you United 3-0. Um, apart from that, I can't really remember when we've actually put a run of results together where we've actually looked like we're playing really good football. I mean, Spurs are playing better football than us over the past two or three months, which is a sad, sad, sad thing to say. And I dread to think how we're going to play at their place um, in six days' time, which is a really worrying fact. The only way we can really turn this around is by beating Spurs. If we don't get three points against Spurs, then I honestly think the title is beyond us now. But if we don't win against Spurs at White Hart Lane, then um, you can kiss goodbye to it because right now, I mean, the, the thing is, do we actually look like we can go to Spurs and get a result based on today, based on how we've played in other away games this season, based on the fact we're consistently bottling chances to go to the top of the Premier League and, you know, close the gap on Leicester? How many times have we come close to doing it and just bottled it when it really does matter? And the, the fact of the matter is the euphoria against Leicester two weekends ago when we got that last gasp winner through Danny Welbeck in the space of two weeks it's just gone we're back to being uh, in a flat atmosphere it's really depressing to be honest and it's just you know it's the way Arsenal can change um, change their season in the space of a couple of weeks it's absolutely bewildering how Arsenal are consistently capable of um, amazing me consistently on a basis like this but like I say, got to go to Spurs next week, got to get the win. And before that, we've got a tough game against Swansea at home, which is not a given, which we'll win, we can uh, win by any means. So it's a difficult situation that we put ourselves in, but it's something that, as Arsenal fans, is becoming more and more of a reality, which is a real sad sight to see. And, you know, are we deserving of winning the title? Because if we're not taking the chances when they come to us, I don't think we are. We should have won that game today. We were playing against a bunch of kids um, we, like I say, with all respect to United, their players, their younger players stepped up. Marcus Rashford getting a goal, two goals and an assist on his Premier League debut. Absolutely outstanding that for the young guy. Um, as well as that Memphis Depay stepped up. Their whole team played really well as a unit, which is something we weren't able to do. A couple of changes going into the, into uh, today's game. Gabriel starting the centre half for he had an absolute stink half or he was shocking. Aaron Ramsey in the midfield kept his place in the team. Um, yeah, I did say in the preview he should have started this game, but he was diabolical yet again. I can't really defend the guy much more. He was really, really poor today. And the man that is, um, you know, 10 years at the club now and still has not filled his, fulfilled his potential in any way, shape or form. Fair Walcott starting what seemed to be in that striking role anonymous for completely the whole game. For the time he was on the pitch, he, he didn't really benefit the team in any way. Uh, hit at times, which is a real... A real um, mystery, given that he's meant to be one of our more senior players, a player that's meant to step up in a game like this. And I have no doubts whatsoever that Theo Walcott has got the talent to step up in games like this. He did it when we beat United 3-0, but why can't he do it in a game like this, where we're essentially starting with a team that's pretty similar to the one that was uh, that, that went out there and beat United 3-0 earlier on in the season. Why can't he step up? It's a mentality issue that stems through the whole team, players that can't step up. Because on paper, should have been a comprehensive 3-4-0 win to us today against that, against that Manchester United side. But when it matters, the mentality 
mentality is not in the right place and that is why I honestly think we're not going to be able to go the distance and win the Premier League this season. And what is our best opportunity to do it? If Wenger doesn't win it this season, um, then you can't help but feel heads have got a roll because this is the best chance we're going to have to win it in the last decade or so. And when you look at Liverpool, they're going to continue to strengthen City, getting in Pep Guardiola. United looking more convincing under Van Howe in recent weeks. Um, we'll see how long that lasts though because Van Howe's been incredibly up and down with United over the past couple of years. I mean... All these teams are going to strengthen around us and we're just in this consistent phase of finishing fourth, doing well in the cup and you know, are we capable of actually changing for the title? I mean, I do think the mentality has to change. We say it's season upon season upon season, but this is the time when it's really got to, um, people have got to step up and be counted, which is sadly not happening for us as we draw into the final stages of the season. We're five points off Leicester now, so the title is on paper, no means beyond us. If we beat Spurs, like I say, we'll go um, back within uh, touching distance of the title. Five points is certainly doable, but we're relying now on other teams ahead of us to slip up or fail along the way. And as well as that, Spurs is going to be a very tough ground to go to. If they win their game in midweek and then they beat us um, on uh, on Saturday, then we could find ourselves quite some distance behind them and even scraping for a top four spot, which is just would be absolutely calamitous. Um, as well as that, Alexis Sanchez didn't have a particularly good game today. I mean, I don't particularly want to scapegoat players because no one played well today apart from Maybe the fullbacks, Bella and Monreal, I thought they were pretty class. Czech had a decent game as well. Uh, and, you know, regarding the Gabriel Merck debate, which seems to be consistently brought up whenever we go into a game, I just think we need a new centre half, to be honest. Gabriel has yet to really prove it in the big games. Merck is getting older and he's not really looking the player that he was a couple of seasons ago. I just think we need a top class centre half, someone to compare alongside Lauren Koscielny, and will not cost us in the big games as we saw today. But, I might as well get into the game itself. Um, like I said, we had those few changes starting in the, in, the, in the match. We had Danny Welbeck starting up top as well, which I thought was a real quizzical one. I would have started Danny Welbeck on that right-hand side, Olivier Giroud up top. But unfortunately, we started with Fia Walker in that striking role and Danny Welbeck on the right-hand side. But I, was, I thought there was more than enough talent to break down this United defence, which was very, very feeble. Um, it was United that got the first goal through Marcus Rashford. We didn't assert any dominance on the game at all. We didn't look clinical. We didn't look determined. We had no desire, had no ambition right from the get-go. United, albeit they didn't have a lot of possession in this game, they were clinical when they needed to be. Their, their attacks were so much more convincing than ours. Rashford got the first goal through a defensive error. It was a good ball in from Jesse Lingard, which Gabriel failed to get rid of. It was an awful clearance by him. Straight to the feet of Rashford, who put it into the net first time. Great goal for him, and that will certainly do his confidence a load of good, but certainly didn't help us at the time. 1-0 down, and then not too long after, going 2-0 down, Rashford getting in between the centre-halves, Koscielny and Gabriel. Criminal defending, absolutely criminal. Gets in between them and places it past Petr Cech with ease, absolute ease for Rashford. An 18-year-old getting between two experienced centre-halves is unacceptable, absolutely unacceptable. But we go 2-0 down, Claw a goal back through Danny Welbeck through a free kick. World-class delivery by Mazza Ozil. One of the only players today that was worth his salt. I thought Ozil was class today. Played in the ball to Danny Welbeck. Put it in the back of the net to make it 2-1. Going into half-time, the momentum was with us. We were more than capable of scoring two goals against this Manchester United team and getting the win. But... We go into that second half with little to no urgency once again. United, I thought, started the half stronger. They got um, a goal to make it 3-1 through Ada Herrera. No one tracking Herrera whatsoever. Where was Coughlin on this? Where was Ramsey on this? Neither of our two central midfielders marking Ada Herrera. No one covering him. Very uh, easy goal for him to score, but it took a wicked deflection off of Lauren Koscielny to put it past Petr Cech. At 3-1, I felt the game was beyond us, and it was... Really difficult for us to claw our way back into it, but we did manage to get somewhat of a lifeline through Mirza Ozil through a rather scrappy goal, but he put it into the back in there. Ozil got a goal and an assist today. Personal tributes for him. Uh, personal achievement, should I say. That's the only positive I can take out today. Ozil getting his uh, statistics up. But apart from that... 3-2 uh, away from home at United, one of the worst United sides that we've come up against. There are players coming off their bench that I've never even heard of, and as well as that, in the final five minutes, they're just toying with us, absolutely toying with us, playing it into the corner flag, taking it around the likes of Bellerin and Monreal, been absolutely messed about with, and it's unacceptable because we don't look like title challengers, we don't look like winners, and I hate to say that if we had someone like Tony Adams or Patrick Vieira in the team, then the mentality would be in the right place, but you look at that team, and you look at leaders, and you look at players that have the mentality and the ambition to go on and win the league, I see very few, I don't, in fact, I barely see any apart from Petr Cech, and it's a sad reality that we've got a team of what I like to say as nearly men, I don't like to say it by any means, but it is what we are, we are nearly men, and... Sadly, we are, in a way, bottle jobs. And that's a term I absolutely hate to use. But 
it's becoming more and more like a reality that we can't go the distance and if we don't win it this season then um, I don't think we're ever going to win it under Arsene Wenger again which is a thing I hate to say I'm a big admirer of Arsene Wenger but this is the time when we had to go and win the league with all the clubs around us stuttering this was our best chance to do it we've got one of the best scores in the Barclays Premier League and the fact that we haven't gone to Old Trafford and got the win in what would have been our best chance to beat Man United in a while um, you know it's bewildering. I don't know what to say about today. It's just depressing at the end of the day. And I just hope that we're able to rectify things by getting a win against Swansea and getting a win against Spurs. But even then, where will that leave? I've just got to hope that we win all of our remaining games up until the end of the season, which is going to be very difficult to do. Remember, we've got Spurs away, Everton away, West Ham away, uh, City away as well. So it doesn't get any easier for us. I mean, we could find ourselves battling for a top four spot, which is unacceptable given the way that this season has panned out. But anyway, guys. Get your thoughts on today's absolutely disgusting game in the comments box below. Please do like this video if you have enjoyed it. Um, if you've enjoyed it, yeah, that's a funny one. Um, yeah, like this video if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe to Arsenal Fan TV. And as always, I'll speak to you soon. A little bit better than my seat, I will admit. Now, you see, for me, this is, for me, one of the highlights of the tour. You see this? This is a gold Premier League trophy. You would not go to any other ground in the Premier League. Not Man United, not Chelsea. Not City, not any of those grounds and CVs because this is unique to Arsenal.